No directives. AKA for officer safety. People, here we are. Concord, North Carolina. Now with HPR news, brand example reports, and we're fixing to go into United States Post Office, Concord, North Carolina. Hold on a second, I get the deal. Two eight zero two. Your lights on HBR. You want to walk around the outside? See their vehicles and stuff? That end? Oh, okay. What is it? What's back here? Customer. Oh, see? I don't see any signs. Do you see any signs? What's that sign? Customer parking on authorized vehicles will be ticketed. Like. Subscribe. Share. Like and comment, don't forget to. That big old satellite yeah, there. Modern day I wonder if that thing's still in use. I wouldn't want to park underneath it. That old car that not going to Just hope it They still got the old, the old cars. Have y'all seen them new ones that they're supposed to be coming out with? The picture of them? How you doing? How y'all doing? doing good. What is this with the light bar? Rule delivery. I thought it might have been posted. I wonder what the light bar is for. You don't know us. Who are we? You go around. What's our name? Are you subscribed? to somebody. <laughs> 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 All right. What? Uh, I got a question, right quick, for somebody. Huh? That vehicle that just came by. Yeah, there. I'll ask her. What? What's the the light bar for? I'm sorry. The light bar. Um, just like a caution, like a. Precaution. Yeah, but I mean that's the first male vehicle I've ever seen with a light bar. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, there's several of them. Are they yellow lights? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. They are. Just caution for us and everybody else around yeah. us. How are you guys well, doing? I figured that's what it was, but yeah. I, I never saw a postal vehicle with a light bar. Yes, yeah, sir. My husband uh, ordered it off Amazon. Oh, order so. To keep me safe. That was, so, okay, so they didn't <laughs> furnish it for you. Oh, oh no, sir. No, sir. We, we oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Husband wants to keep you safe. Absolutely. I hope um, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, you have a beautiful day. I hope you guys Y'all doing all right up there?
This one's got a little this one's got a little light on it too, yeah. Postmaster, supervisor, and supervisor. Some of them having a fit, huh? Yeah, I know. You get recorded by the vehicle. Yeah, I'm going in too. Was he the postmaster? Yeah, he was. His name's Billy. Well, there's old glory. People, people. P O W M I A flag. Good to see that they got that one up there. And sometimes I see where they don't have the P O W M I A flag. Again, we're at United States Post Office, Concord, North Carolina, 28025. Hey, don't got permission to film out here? <laughs> Billy come out to be the muscle. Is, is that what he said? No, but he was just standing there, and then when she started doing that, he started doing this. I know, he's telling him to go back. Yeah. He wanted his people to represent. <laughs> Morning. Hey, how are you? Good, thank you, Morning. Thank you, Roman Dorby. We got it here. We have a wonderful day. Here's you. P.O. boxes. You see posters out anywhere? Maybe if you want to around. Perfect. Oh, there it is over there. We're not lying. Right there. Are the posters out Yeah. Is it 2007? Well, that's a lot better. I did 18, I think. Yeah, the new ones lay out a little bit different. Is it the same verbiage on the target part? I probably, I was looking for that. Mm -hmm. Before, before the stuff. Oh, okay.
I'm not going out. So you're the postmaster? That poster seven over there is outdated. What can we Yeah, I think the latest one's eighteen. Alright, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Yep. You've done great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ah, that, look, look, look. Somebody called the Popo. All right, you here for us? Yes, sir. Uh, somebody here at the post office called and said that. Somebody what? Somebody here that works at the post office called 911. That's why I'm here. Why would they do that? Well, I'll ask them. I don't know if it involves them wanting you guys to leave or not. I'm guessing you didn't hear me. Uh, I, I don't know. Barry, uh, badge number? We don't have badge numbers. You got some sort of identifying number. No, so my name's Officer Barry. I'm the only Barry at the Concord Police Department. So if, if you needed to get in touch with me, you should be there. You got a call number or something. So the reason why I'm here is they called 911, which is why the police are responding. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So if you just give me a second to figure everything out, uh, I'm sure hopefully I get out of here. Okay. I, I was leaving. What, am I detained? No, so like I said, the business called me here. We were just in there talking to the manager or postmaster for this area. Okay. He had no problem with it. Okay. Like, like I said, I, I didn't just roll up on you guys. They called. I know. One of the workers back there called. Okay. Because I saw her on why? the phone. Because we were walking through back there. I see. Okay. Because we're doing a first amendment. Okay. Well, I appreciate what you guys do. I mean, if you guys are leaving, I think everything should be okay. okay. I'm not hanging out. Well, let me make sure. Well, I might you. walk back here now. Well, let me make sure they don't want you guys to not be here because at that point. Uh, well, we they can't do that. Oh, yeah, they well, can. well, they can. So, no, they can't. Um, well, they can if you let me explain. Not legally. To okay. Uh, uh, I have to break the law first. So, but go ahead. Okay. So, if I decided to just hang out here, um, and the owner or an employee here asked me to leave, then I would have to at that point. That's that's the law, and then the police would be called. <laughs> You would have to Do you have even to. have jurisdiction here? Yes, sir, in the city of Concord. Yes, sir. I thought it would be the... Here? No, no, no. Yeah, the postal okay, police should have the jurisdiction. Okay. Do you... Uh, would, they, would you like these gentlemen to leave? Yes, and okay. I don't... Yeah, and I don't... And they have this footage. Are you the manager? It doesn't matter. So, you so have, listen, she doesn't have that authority. She, she does. So, she, no, so she doesn't. Does. Listen, in the state of North Carolina, it's anybody no. who, who, who works... I don't listen, want to be on Listen, to, listen to me. Well, then why'd you walk okay. to the camera? It's okay, Karen. It's, it's all right. You can go and Listen, guys. Like my neighbor. Listen to me, guys. Gentlemen, it's as simple as this. You guys are doing a good thing. I'm proud of y'all. Appreciate what y'all do, keeping everybody in check. But, but, at, but at this, at this point, the post office wants you guys off the property. So just are we doing anything wrong? Outside of breaking the law, you can't trespass us from this public building where we do our public services here. Okay, so, so like I said, it. it just uh, no, you cut me off. You didn't want to be cut this because you guys have to leave now. So an employee. That's not the way it works, Barry. It is, it's man. A, I, you I need to call the police. postal police. Uh, okay. You need probably the, the manager. The postal I'll police. The post -post okay. Y'all have contract so with the post office. So an employee here has asked me to tell them to leave. Right. Well, she hey. doesn't have that authority. Right. She doesn't. If she feels unsafe, then she has the authority unsafe. to call the police. Unsafe about what? Right. Right. We I need some rads. I myself, you can go ahead and record all you want because that's your legal right. All right, Bill. But as long as you don't interfere we have with the here. customers in the county. We have not interfered so, with anybody. Have we done any of that? Told everybody no, we're not allowed to go ahead. We've been cordial. By the way, you left your CAD open on your window. Uh, yeah, well, you, uh, you want them to leave, sir? You guys done? He just said we can yeah. record all we want. We yeah. all right. You know, he just said he doesn't want to record all you want. You guys no, I got, but if he doesn't want you here, you I have can't business. Here. Well, he I didn't say that. He's the postmaster. Sir. Morning. Sir, do you want them off the property? Give me, give me, give me a second. 
I have business. Still are you familiar? Uh, I, I, I'm just asking. Are you guys done recording uh, in, in the building? I still have business in there, and I'd like to, you know, record my transaction, especially since we've had the law enforcement. You can call record up. your transaction, but you cannot record the the pen pad. I can't if I'm pad, doing mine, but I, I won't. I'm not, I don't want nobody to see my pen number, so I wouldn't do that anyway. <laughs> All right. yeah. So we're good. Yeah. You going to do a transaction? Yeah. Okay. You can go ahead and enter. Uh, business is also recording our, our buildings, but I am. I'm going to buy a stand. Oh. My Are business can actually the, just be recording. Uh, in and of okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Are you going to run away now? That's a walk of shame, Barry. Are, are you aware of the case law? I'm asking you about the case law. That's a walk of shame, Barry. Don't You're, try to violate our rights, buddy. You're wrong about what you said, Barry. Um. No need. Dijon Sharp v. Winterville Police Department. I know, but he needs to do it right. Does uh the the do you have does this office have an agreement? With Concord Police Department to enforce law here? We can call them anytime we like because uh, the Postal Police takes a little bit uh, longer to get here. So we do have to call. Uh, I know, Concord but that wasn't my question. Is there an agreement? A letter of agreement. A letter if of there's agreement. An agreement between that's higher up. And if we have to call the, the police, the local police, while the Postal Police gets here, then we can do that. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. Gary, it uh it says on your poster seven you're supposed to call postal police. Yes. Well, he's straightening out. Huh? He's straightening out. He's not. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't like it, dog. He still wanted to try to say, you know. Um, I think Barry. Barry. Barry is uh mistaken. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> All right, people. So that lady thinks she can override the brand example, and well, hey, I'm gonna walk around back again. You might as well. We're going back. Again. Well, hell, let's go this way because we gotta come back this way. So uh, we're gonna take a victory lap now, <laughs> and I hope she's back there. When I went back in to get my stamp, she was still whining and crying all butt hurt to another employee. Another employee's turn. He said just to go back there and not talk to him, just leave him alone and go on. <laughs> you know, she wants attention, so that's why she did it. Yeah. I don't want to be on camera, but she walked all the way up here with three, or yeah. two, two, four, four six, six, uh, seven cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I hear him back here now. Oh, 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 oh. You all right? <clears throat> what happened, man? I, I tripped over the fucking crack. You all right? Yeah, hold on. Did it break your shit, dude? I hope not. <sighs> you sure you all right? Did y'all get that on camera? I'm live, I have no idea. I don't think I did though. Darn it. You want to go this way too? Yeah. Alright. You alright? Get him a little knee straight. There you go, folks. There's what happened when I fell down a while ago. Skin up my knee. Felt good. I hate the knees.
Independent journalists. Independent journalists. Oh, okay. Oh, Investigative okay. journalists. Oh, okay. Keeping our government accountable. And keeping our eye on where our tax dollars are going and how it's going. Oh, okay. Make sure the public service. Oh, so let me know if y'all need to be just a pretty girl. Oh, oh, oh yeah, girl. Oh, it's a girl. I'm going to be on camera. Yeah, you're live now. Right. Yeah, I reckon. I mean, took a hit on the knee there. It uh, looked like it shaved all the hair off the leg. <laughs> I lost all the hair on my leg. All the hair is gone. I used to be hairy, 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 hairy. Well, maybe you quit uh, thinking about your feet so much now that your knees. Yeah, my knee is like. <laughs> oh, there's that uh, belt you were talking about. Oh, that one's got one? Yep. Oh, yeah. Remember the wheel one? Yeah. That's crazy. Enjoy the tax dollars, Dallas. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, have a good day, man. Because I pay taxes, so I pay for my own paycheck. Right? Look at, look at you let that sink. <laughs> I pay for my own paycheck. Yeah, so do the police, right? I mean, we all pay taxes. You pay taxes with our taxes. <laughs> you go vote for Donald Trump again. Do I? He said, go vote for Donald Trump again. <laughs> Did he say no? I think he said, go vote for Trump. Uh, take the vote, guns first, due process second, Trump. <laughs> I ain't voting for that motherfucker. Well, there we go. We got it. I don't like none of them. I don't vote for none of them. They're all the same. Yeah. Democrat, Republican. Yep, they're all the same. Republican. Oh, yeah. They're they're Two not. Wings of the same damn bird. <laughs> for Rand Paul. They're not for they're not for us. None of them. They're all puppets, man. All right, people. Two boots at the same time. There you go. Again. Thanks for watch. Much love We're at the and post respect. Post office in Concord. We out.